Biological anthropology is a really cool field that most people haven't heard of. Biological anthropology. We get to talk about fossils, pottery, stone tools, and even cool art like this. So today, we're going to talk about what is biological anthropology, but also, because this is an interdisciplinary field, we'll talk a little bit about bi evolutionary biology and why that's so important. But first, what even is this? We're going to back up even farther and talk about anthropology. Anthropology is the study of humans. And humans are pretty complex. There's a lot of different things we can look at. Some people look at behavior, but we can also look at customs, language, societies, or material culture. There are classically four different subfields of anthropology. We have linguistics, or the study of language and how we use language. We have archaeology, the study of material culture. So think stone tools, pottery, anything that's a physical thing, that's the realm of archaeology. We also have sociocultural anthropology, looks at this um, culture and how humans interact with each other. There's also a lot of cross over between linguistics and sociocultural anthropology, looking at how we use language within our culture. And the last one, the one that we're going to be talking about today is biological, sometimes called physical anthropology. Biological anthropology is looking at humans through the lens of biology. So we're looking at the um, behavior and our anatomy. There are so many different things we can look at here. Some people look at the fossil record. Others look at anatomy of modern humans. We can look at how we evolved, what our adaptations are, what our behavior is, but we can also look at other primates. We might look at the behavior of other primates or how we're related to them. We can also look at genetics, and there's a lot of applications to this to um, forensics or relating to different criminal cases. Anthropology, and especially biological anthropology, is interesting because it is highly interdisciplinary. We're pulling from a lot of different fields to bring all that knowledge um, specifically to look at humans. So biological anthropology is in many ways we are focusing on a specific group and have many different methods. So we look a little bit at primatology, a little bit at molecular biology, but and we also have a lot of um, in information from geology because we need to know how to interpret the fossil record. But the one field that we pull the most from is evolutionary biology. There's a couple big questions that we ask in biological anthropology. How did we evolve? What species are we most closely related to? And of course, are humans special? So to start, what is biological anthropology and what fields does it learn from? <laughs> 